Hello guys, uh, a couple of days ago I uploaded uh, this video with a uh, weird looking geometry um, and get a lot of requests and comments to break down the technique of how I made these uh, meshes uh, using stable diffusion with a uh, little bit of uh, metal work and now I'm going to show you the whole process basically it's a simple displacement of projected to the images with depth maps and these depth maps and to the images we can get using AI uh, so without further ado let's go at this point I will assume that you already know how to generate images using AI tools like stable diffusion rejourney or whatever uh, now we need to get depth for this we can use a control net extension uh, in depth mode, now we can take our image and uh, without any problem generate and the processor will analyze our image to build depth pass. Oh, yeah, this is our depth. Uh, we can save it uh, for now like control net. Uh, but uh, if you don't have control net yeah, you can use uh, Zoe depth model from the hugging faces. It works online. You basically drop your image here, click on submit, and uh, after this you have depth. Save it like on Zoe depth. Uh, we'll blend there. We need to create our plane on a subdivided by 100 yeah uh, this is a pretty dense geometry and it will be enough for our use use case now we need to apply displace modifier uh, and select our depth map as a, um, as a displaced texture and I think the control net depth looks uh, better Uh, and shade is smooth. Now we can create material, uh, apply our and apply our to the image as uh, base color. Yeah, now you have your geometry. Uh, to get rid of these uh, sharp edges, uh, we can apply uh, subdivision surface modifier. Yeah, uh, this works for me. And now we can mirror object, like uh, like so, maybe like so, but we need to. And get rid of this part so we mirror it by the axis and by set uh, to get rid of this um, unnecessary part so we can sculpt our mesh um, yeah and this is uh, pretty much it this is our geometry we can apply a mirror modifier uh, and uh, as you can see here uh, there is uh, 200,000 triangles and uh, we can decimate this geometry to optimize it because we don't need as many pike so, or maybe so And uh, for the last part, I'm going to show you how to uh, generate additional maps for this shader. Our process is uh, very simple. You can uh, generate it using Substance Designer or Substance Painter, but I'm gonna use Shader Map. Uh, just drop your um, main texture to the Shader Map, and here's your normals. 
you can increase density. Uh, I think uh, inverted looks better. Uh, then you can generate your specular color uh, and specular map for the shiny uh, for the shiny surfaces. Yeah, just save this map and save uh, this map. Now we can. I'm not. Apply normal. Normal. Apply our our specular map to the specular. Uh, for now, I will disable base color. And yeah, as you can see, we've got normals uh, working correctly and uh, other specular maps as well. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. You can generate as many meshes as you want uh, with this technique and arrange them uh, into composition. And uh, I think uh, this is a pretty cool way to uh, quickly keep bash concepting or stuff like this. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.